Typing portraiture, e-products, auto editing, e-templates, educational videos for shooting smarter, not harder at the photochannel.pro. Well, I made my hybrid heroes, my talent team, a little nervous because I decided that we weren't going to talk about certain subjects, particularly the folks who like to argue on YouTube. And I kind of list some of the things that I don't want to talk about anymore. And I know this sounds kind of crazy, but listen, we're shooting every day family portraits. And I want to show you what we're doing and how we're doing it. Now, I'm not saying that what I'm doing is right and everybody else is wrong. I'm just saying that there are better ways maybe to do things. Yep, I'm really good at being efficient. Yes, I've got rather high standards for quality. So what I want to do is I want to show you my typical family portrait workflow and how I'm able to use that to grow the bids, right? But I'm going to run right through it. All right, first step. We don't use Mark's Canon 5D in the raw workflow nonsense. We don't do that. This is a Lumix GH3. It's got audio here. I don't use that very often. That's in case I have to take the camera off and get closer if there's a little kid. But we're using shotgun microphones to record our hybrid content, right? So let's say a typical photo session that doesn't have anything to do with hybrid. Say it's just a family portrait. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the exact workflow for this beautiful client job. And this is a great representation of the type of work that I really like to do. A beautiful couple, wonderful folks, rich, glorious black and white. We're celebrating Mark Hauser here, right? Look at that. I mean, come on, who wouldn't want that, right? This is a 24 by 24 size portrait. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this file straight from the camera. And I'm going to zip it, and I'm going to give you the download link, and I want you to download it, and I want you to take a good look at it. I want you to see what happens when you take a camera like this that is 16 megapixels, and then I set it to black and white with all that pre-processing stuff I talk about, right? Yeah, that's all real. I adjust the dynamic range, the eye resolution, I adjust contrast. I, in fact, sometimes even put the tint on it that I want to do in order to make it look the way I want to. And then guess what? Instead of 16 megapixels, I throw away a bunch of them. I'm only shooting it at 11 and a half megapixels because I crop it square. No kidding. I set this to shoot an aspect ratio of one to one. So that means I'm shooting square. That's exactly right. There is no cropping involved here, right? This portrait, I know I'm going to bang out. Here's how I do it. The camera's pre-processed. We shoot in fine JPEG. We're able to record that gorgeous black and white. When the session's over, I signal to Louie, you can come through Howard if you want to, it's okay, to Louie that we're ready to go. Then what he does is, come on this way, Louie. He clicks the magic button, right there. That is the USB connection to my camera. When he hits that, you see one of my, my posts, it tells the computer here, oh, there's files, I need to import them. It launches the import window in Lightroom, then Louie hits OK, he, he re, renames those files as they come in. Now, listen, one of the cool things about Lightroom is it allows us to embed the tags into every image, really. Upon import, the data that comes, the JPEG data comes through here. It gets renamed with the client's name. Then we keep the original file number from that file, right? That allows us to track back a camera that gives us some sort of problems, also gives us a unique number, right? We also add the metadata to each video or each piece of JPEG that comes through. With all 25 of our SEO tags that we use for Housertown here, right? If you're not doing that, you're missing a huge marketing opportunity. Google, uh, who's the best hybrid photographer in Chicago? Just do it, right? It's me. You know why? Because that's embedded into every stinking file that I've got on Lightroom that goes up to our gallery for Zenfolio, right? Okay. Customer sits down. Louis shows him what he needs to show him. They want to buy a print or they come in to buy a print, right? That's one of the things that our, our 799 package comes with a 10 by 10 inch print. We sell them up to a 24 by 24 when we have something beautiful like that, right? There it is, unretouched. That's exactly what it is. And that's the file that I'm going to show you. Then when they choose the one they want to, Louis says, hey, Crockett, I got a print for you. Boom, I'm the printmaker. Comes back to this station here. I bring it into Lightroom. I will put a vignette on it. Sometimes I'll put a black border on it. I may adjust shadow detail, but I don't do a whole lot to it. 
Now you're going to notice that there's a tint on that print. That tint is put on there in image print, right? We never print out of Photoshop or Lightroom because they're horrible ways to dry inkjet printers. These are the world's greatest inkjet printers. We have beautiful paper. We want to make that gorgeous print and we do it in less than an hour. No kidding. People come in, they spent the money for the package, they know they're going to get a print, we get them sit down and inside an hour we got that machine printing and they hang around another 10 minutes for it to finish printing, they leave with the 2424. That 2424 and the rest of the stuff, let's go back this way, goes up to their Zenfolio gallery. So Zenfolio takes all the selected images, right? Say we shoot 60 in a photo session, Louis is going to clear out 20 right off the bat that he doesn't like, and he has 40. He goes through 40, they lower it down to like 15, then they drop it down to 5, great, they got their selects. Louis will go back to the favorite 15, he'll upload those into the Zenfolio gallery. So if you go to housertown.com, you'll see photo sessions from the last four weeks. Hop in there. You can see this couple's photo session if you like. Right, jump in and see it. There's no password on it. That's where they have the ability to share that as well as send us some more business, right? Well, Will, why do you have all this SEO stuff on the files? Well, I've got that same set of SEO tags on the Zenfolio gallery. And then every time they, this couple, sends that Zenfolio link to their friends and their family, that gets us more search engine optimization. So the best portrait photography in Chicago, I want ultimately to go to Hausertown. So, I want you to first realize that the days of fine, high-end, black and white, large print portrait manufacturers, right? If you're a photographer and you want to make exhibition grade black and white portraits, which we do here, right? Not to my own harm, but this is Mark Hauser's studio and I'm just replicating Mark Hauser's work. That print that I've got for you, that is, that's an exhibition grade black and white print and it prints beautifully. I'm telling you that I don't need a full frame sensor. I don't need to shoot raw. I don't need a team of processors. What I need is to have the skills to be able to set up a camera, focus a camera, light a shot, and move a file through a system in an efficient manner in order to build sales. If I were to be shooting a raw camera, a raw file camera, I would be wasting way too much time in converting raw. So if you want to shoot raw, go right ahead. I'm just telling you, we don't need to. Next, all this full frame sensor nonsense for mirrorless cameras, it's all baloney. If I had a 30 megapixel file, JPEG, coming through this system, it would take two and a half times longer to transfer the files, right? Why? Tell me what's wrong with my 24 by 24. If I had a bigger file size, it would slow my workflow down. Why would I want to do that? Remember, the more my clients look at pictures on the screen, the more likely they are to buy. So the faster I can get those files over here, the better. Louis is our secret cash register, right? The more time they spend with Louis, the more that they spend dollar-wise. That's the goal. We want to have a system that we can create quickly and high quality, move it over, get it in front of folks, show them the terrific stuff, and then deliver a print that knocks their socks off. I I'll dare you. <laughs> if you're a black and white portrait photographer, let's trade prints if you don't believe me. If you're one of those people that wants to arm wrestle about, oh, if you would have shot raw, it would have been a lot better. It would have been better if I shot raw, but we're selling black and white 20 by 24 portraits, no problem. Are you? <laughs> Bye. Talking portraiture, e-products, auto editing, e-templates, educational videos for shooting smarter, not harder at the photochannel.pro.